Today we're gonna to be diving into TikTok shop best selling pieces. The most sold item we're gonna get into has sold 550,000 units. What? I mean, I don't fully understand or grasp or even fathom that number. It's ridiculous. If you don't know too much about TikTok shop, it's basically a place where businesses can also sell their product. There's been a strong push of like lots of fast fashion, but there's also been some pros to the TikTok shop. A lot of small businesses have been able to find a new audience and create lots of sales. So there is kind of two sides. If anyone's expecting me to get into the ethics and sustainability of all these brands, it won't be in this video. Video. TikTok shop is under so many different companies and I honestly think majority of the things are drop shipped. It's really hard to find anything about these companies out, which is a bad sign. We've got makeup, we've got clothes, let's get into it. Okay, quite possibly this is the worst shirt to be doing makeup because whenever I touch my face, this big floof is gonna touch my face. Also, yes, it's faux fur. And if you're at all curious about this necklace, I actually made it. I've been getting into beading again, so I made this one. Okay, so 21,000 of these have sold, which I cannot get my brain wrapped around these numbers. 21,000 of these are in the universe. And that's just like the TikTok shop data, I think. This exact photo, I swear I've seen it on Timu amongst our trials of Timu. I got it for $1.99. And so how I understand it is there are quite a few people talking about this and that's what drives the sales up. I don't know what the commission program for any of these products are. This looks strangely familiar. I'm like looking over into my Timu bin of makeup. I just, <gasps> Stop! <gasps> what? The woman was too stunned to speak. <laughs> this is the one I used in the Timu video, and this is the one we got off TikTok shop. Um, they're the exact same. I need to see what the price difference was. I also got this eyeshadow palette. It was $4.94. $4.94. Okay, on TikTok shop, it was $1.99 US doing some quick conversions on screen. The TikTok shop one was way cheaper. So, hmm, interesting. Here's what it looks like. It's very neutral colors. It's not like the worst. First, this color all over. Does it look like I'm just dusting nothing on my eyes right now? I feel like I'm playing with play makeup right now. Like I'm not actually putting anything on my eye. The fact that there's 21,000 of these in the universe, let's say about something else. Did you guys see the new Dune movie? If you would have asked me when I was 15 if I was gonna be afraid of Austin Butler, I would have been like, no, absolutely not. Why would I be afraid of Austin Butler? And now, 10 years later, tell me why every time in the middle of the night I have to go get up to pee, I imagine Austin Butler in the the washroom in the darkness. <laughs> Anyways, okay, this is the first shade that actually is doing something. I repeat, this shade might actually be on my eye. I do think the glitters actually do okay though. Ooh, yes. Oh my gosh, okay. Yes, finally. Something is happening here. It was all right. Next is this TikTok. They were talking about their lashes. I guess they get questions about them. And they are apparently these ones. Long, fluffy, false lashes for music festival makeup, wispy cat eye look. 209,000 of these sold. Like, am I getting this right? Is it actually 209,000? Because whenever I think of a big number like that, I think of a stadium. Like a stadium that holds like 20,000 people. Fill that stadium 10 times and then turn them into eyelashes. They're really, really fluttery and wispy. You probably can't even tell, but it actually kind of has two layers of lashes. There's like the bottom layer and then the wispy top layer. They're gonna look so bad on me. I'm kind of tempted to see what the full thing looks like. Oh my gosh. No, this is not gonna work. Look at how big that is on my eye. I will say on the TikTok, the lashes were huge, so that makes sense. I'm going to cut them a little bit. Oh my gosh, oh my. Okay, there, that one's on. It's genuinely closing my eyes so hard. Like this is me opening my eyes as much as I can. Like it just like catches. <laughs> 
It goes too long here. My camera can't even focus. I don't know why I can't wear them. I want to wear them with you, but I can't. They're just not right on me. Let's take a break from talking about brands that are questionable and talk about a brand that is great, Philly. Thank you for sponsoring this video. For those of you who don't know about Billy, they started by creating a razor, but it wasn't just any ordinary razor, it was geared for women, standing strong in the belief that shaving was a choice and not an expectation. So I'm excited to announce that Billy has now launched a 15 piece collection of body care, which includes lotions, body washes, and deodorants, each specifically designed to give your skin what it's asking for, and all the pieces are cruelty free, vegan, and paraben free. This new body care line rejects the industry's long lasting, perpetuation and creation of insecurities and corrective skincare. These pieces are created and designed to serve you and your body, not change it. If you know me, you know I have sensitive skin, so I opted for the Soothe Comforting Body Wash. It uses oat milk to calm and nourish my skin. I love the flower-shaped cap on the top, and I love the calming lavender smell. <sighs> I've had problems in the past with having deodorants react and create rashes under my arms, but Billy's aluminum-free deodorant reacts really well with my skin and very importantly controls odor and smells great. And they have this AHA deodorant, which is pH adjusting and odor preventing. If these products sound like something you're interested in, they are now available at Walmart, so you can shop them in store or go to walmart.com or click my link down below, whatever's easiest for you. Thank you again to Billy for sponsoring this video and helping to support this channel. Back to the video. I feel like we need to balance these eyes with a lip. So we have this Comfort Skincare Lip Care Lipstick and Lip Liner Suit. I paid $1.89. It apparently says not tested on animals, but I don't see any badges. So that's kind of the thing you have to be careful with a lot of brands is anybody can say anything, but if you have actual certifications, then you can trust it a bit more. Here's what it's looking like in the packaging. I like the color. It reminds me of the Kylie Lip Kits. I don't know if I can see a lip liner and a lipstick packaged together without thinking of the Kylie Lip Kits. Like they're like ingrained in my brain and that's on marketing. So good job, Kylie. Also, Number 17 is a decent color, I think. Now we'll try the lipstick. Same color. Okay, it smells kind of strange. Hmm, now it smells kind of good. It's like shape shifting in my nose. It saying that it's waterproof is not true at all. There's no way. Like I could wipe it off. I will wipe it off. Here, let me show you. Like, see? So it's definitely not waterproof. And actually, it's not even matte. It says on the package that it's matte lips, but I would say it's actually more like a, it definitely has a sheen to it. It's not glossy. What is it? It's like sheen? What is that word? And by the way, 72,000 of these lipsticks were sold. Next we have this lip oil, which looks scarily familiar to the Dior lip oil that went popular actually on TikTok. 83,000 sold, $4.99, but it comes with three in a package. Here is what they look like. Oh my gosh, they're so similar. Oh my gosh, it's like exactly like the Dior one. So I'm gonna just swatch them. Clear. This is the pink one. It looks the same as the clear. Oh yeah, it's got the most color. Still not very much though. I mean, there's still lip oils at the end of the day. By the way, it smells like chemicals. Like it doesn't smell like a lip product. It smells actually kind of concerning, like motor oil. Ooh, feels nice. Other than the fact that my nose is getting a faint chemical smell. And as I wear it, the smell is dissipating, but I don't know, something about when you smell a lip product, I want it to smell like something that is edible or smell like nothing at all. The lashes have got to go, that's for sure. The first thing, 7,200 sold. Woman's plain high waist PU leather skinny pants. These were $13 and they are leather pants. Well, not real leather. From far away, it will definitely look like leather pants. These are not my personal style, but clearly there's 7,200 other people's personal style. Let me begin. By the way, I'll just say right now, when I say, ooh, it's price low, so you can assume it's not ethical. I'm not saying if things are priced high, then they're for sure ethical. That is not what I'm saying. And we know that that's not the case a lot of the times. Lots of times it just means it's a higher profit margin. So 
don't worry, I know. High price doesn't mean ethical and sustainable. It just means it's a high price. Oh my gosh, <laughs> no. No, I'm not coming out. I don't feel like it. No, I don't have to, you can't make me. You can't make me. Have I ever looked better? I'm feeling very spy-like. Okay, let's take a look at these leather pants. They're just so not me. Can I just start by saying they're like weirdly very comfortable? They probably don't look comfortable, but on the grand scheme of fake leather pants, these are not bad. They're weirdly like very stretchy which I like. I'm pleasantly surprised. I do feel like they're not gonna last amazingly just because they're so thin and kind of cheap material. They definitely look like a leather pant though, right? It's hugging me in every single area. Next we have a pajama set. Now this one looked really cute. It's got these cherries on it, 27,000 sold. Oh my gosh, it's so crazy. In Canada, we can't shop on TikTok shop. We also can't even look at it. So I get my friend from America to help me shop on it. If you watched my other video, you saw we like Zoom shopped it. So I don't have all the information because they're blocking me. So I'm not exactly sure, but I'm pretty sure it's 27,000 of this exact piece. Looks like almost paint. You see that? Kind of looks like there's like a paint splatter on the back. They were looking really good until I saw that. This is why I think these items are drop shipped is because they never actually have the tag of the brand that sold them. It's just tagless. So potentially you could find these on Timu, you could find them on Shein, you can find them on TikTok shop, all under different entity names, but they could potentially all be the same piece. Sold at very different prices, which over 10 months ago, I did that concept where I bought the same item from from different stores and it basically just exposed how these giant companies are just getting all of the same pieces and selling them at different prices but they're all the same quality all the exact same piece basically yeah we'll throw them on this is gonna be quite a shift <laughs> the sounds that are coming off of these pants the moment of truth are these pajamas completely see-through or just a little see-through okay they are definitely a little see-through like the skin tone you're seeing is in fact my skin, it's not made up. And you can kind of tell how see-through it is because right here, it's like two layers of the fabric and it's quite opaque. And then right here, it's kind of darker because it's like my skin underneath. It's got a nice wide waistband, see? Look at me. I look ready for bed and it fits good. I thought they were gonna be way too short, but they're actually perfect. The only problem, they're see-through. So you must wear them in the safety of your own home. I swear we cannot do a TikTok shop video without talking about Hilera. I've reviewed Hilera, I did a full dedicated video, we did a deep dive. They are all over TikTok shop, they're really utilizing the shop feature. This skirt sold 38,000, it's $29. This was actually the only thing that sold outside of that giant package. This came in its own Hilera package. The product photo looks extremely short on the back. It shouldn't be shorter in the back than it is in the front, so I'll definitely take a peek at that. Okay, next. Orange skirt, which I'm gonna try on with this. I got a lot of attention for this in one of my videos. Everyone was asking where it's from. I actually thrifted it, but the tag of original place's debut. I don't know where that is. I've got high hopes for this skirt because it's got a built-in skirt. Oh my! I like this skirt a lot. It's quite nice. Ta-da! Don't worry, it's just shorts underneath. Okay, this skirt is so nice. Potentially the nicest Hilera item I've tried on. I love the built-in shorts, and the best thing about these built-in shorts is they're like super, super soft and comfortable. The skirt is very short. Like if you were kind of low like my mirror is, I can see the shorts just when I'm standing here. Like if I was to bend over, it'd be a for sure show for everyone involved. That's kind of how I feel when I wear skirts in general is like, if I don't wear shorts underneath, I will be flashing people because I just, I flail too much and I kind of forget. But yeah, this is really cute and it's got a little bit of stretch to it. I have a feeling this is gonna be my favorite item from this entire haul. 
Okay, this heart sweater. I don't actually have the product photo for this. Maybe I'll find it before the video goes up, but it's a heart sweater. It has no label. Seriously, TikTok shop is just a spot for drop shipping. Big chunky sweater. It has these 3D tufted hearts on it. Yeah, so this is small, so I think it's gonna be a little bit oversized, so that must be the point. Alrighty, here we go. Okay, I'm a little bit of a harsh judge on chunky sweaters because I'll admit I have a fair few of them and I'm kind of picky about which ones I keep. I will say the fit of this one's cute. I do like that it's a little bit oversized. This is the size small and it's not itchy. Now we're getting into kind of some crazy numbers. 94,000 sold. I didn't even know 94,000 people were interested in vests, honestly. It's this bright blue vest. It was $10.19. It feels so light in the package. The color really reminds me of the new Kai collection, which we actually reviewed. I'm pretty sure that that is what this is taking inspiration from because this exact bright blue with the big thing around the neck, like I feel like this was inspired by Kai. That's the only explanation why I can understand why 94,000 of these sold because they're like an affordable Kai dupe. I'll try them on. I unfortunately can't try the Kai vest back on because we've been giving away all the pieces we try in videos, so that one is long gone, given away to one of you. But I can remember it, and we can reference the video. Okay, here's the vest. I will say the Kai one, not that this has become a comparison, but it kind of is. The Kai one felt better quality. It was almost like a soft mat. This one's pretty thin, honestly. I'm a little concerned. Now, granted, I get it, I get it. It was like $7 or something. But we're at the point where we can't just judge things based on how much they cost. We need to just accept expect quality from everything because it's so hard to know anything about anything anymore ever about ever anything Tell me why I actually think this is way cuter than the Kai one the Kai one was oversized almost too Where was I? The Kai one was kind of oversized to a fault. Now, Kai had a whole bunch of issues with sending the wrong sizes and everything. I mean, we even saw it personally for my order. So maybe it said it was a small, but it actually was more like a large, I'm not sure. But this fit is really cute and true to a small, I think. Next. 426,000 jumpsuits. This is like one of those jumpsuits that are like skin tight that I really don't think look very good on me. Absolutely no label again. What I mean is like, it doesn't say who actually is selling it. So it could be sold by anyone. I saw a few people talking about this exact jumpsuit and a big part of it is it's actually a ripped kind of like almost seems like spandex. Obviously it's not, it's nylon, but it feels like it's going to hold you in because it's this like strong rib. So a lot of people were saying they really liked it because when they went in, it was like, and I can see along the stomach, it kind of goes into this even tighter rib. So potentially it could be almost like not a waist trainer, but like, you know what I mean? So maybe it will be really flattering. Is this supposed to look good? Okay, might be the color, all right? I probably shouldn't have got a light blue. Probably should have went for like a brown or a gray or a black or something. Um, I don't like this situation. It almost looks like I'm wearing like, you know tights, how they have that thing? Do you see that? <laughs> Do you see? <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that. Putting something on, do I not kind of look like, you know when Instagram models go skiing and they wear something like this and they're just like skiing down the hill with no helmet and everyone's just like, where's your helmet? Why are you wearing that? Isn't it cold out? That's how I feel about this look. And I won't deny it looks good on them, but it is kind of like one of those, is it actually reasonable? Anyway, as for the like tummy, part of this. I don't think it's very strong. I actually think it's quite loose, kind of like the same as it is on the leg. I will say I like a jumpsuit in the fact that I don't have to think about pants and shirt matching, but yeah, over 400,000 of these sold. <laughs> I know. You have to try this. Just try this on with it. This is your Easter outfit. Easter alert. Easter. Hey, Easter. Easter. <laughs> hey, Easter. I'm working this outfit. <laughs> <laughs> 
there, and that's pulling it together. <laughs> Now it looks right. Now we reach the most sold product. It was $7.70. 550,000 sold. Huge bestseller. What do you think it is? Take your guesses. It's an athletic jacket. In the video, they were really comparing it to Lululemon, which already, as I open it, it feels nothing like Lululemon. It's very thin, whereas Lululemon's is quite thick and really holds you in. I can definitely see what they're saying for like the look. I feel like the product photo looks just like a Lululemon jacket. It may as well be a Lululemon jacket, but when I'm actually feeling it, it's very, very thin in comparison. It doesn't feel like Lululemon quality, but it's also way cheaper, so we'll see. I will say I love the color. Here I am in my little work out jacket, 550. 550,000. Lululemon jackets kind of provide a little bit of like when you get into them and quite a bit of warmth. This I would say is kind of like a very thin layer. It'll still provide a bit of warmth, but nothing crazy. Looks wise, I definitely see the comparison. Oh my gosh, I just realized, look at this. Why have we been wearing so much of this green lately? I swear, my eyes are just drawn to it. I love the screen and it has thumb holes. Honestly, it's not a bad jacket. I do think it's quite nice and it's wearable, but if you bought it expecting the quality of like a hundred dollar Lululemon jacket, Jacket, you might be a little disappointed. Okay, my thoughts. I am pleasantly surprised with the jacket situation, the vest. Weirdly shocked and impressed with the PU leather pants. So now we've done two videos on the TikTok shop. Do you want me to review small businesses from the TikTok shop? Because I feel like that's the last rock we've got to unturn. Let me know. If you enjoyed and you'd like to see more videos, make sure to click the subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!